Now before we start, if you guys enjoy this tutorial today, consider becoming a Patreon. You get access to awesome rewards and you also help me out to continue creating Minecraft mods, videos and more. So if you're interested, link in the description below. Hey guys, how's it going? It is Mr. Crayfish and welcome back to my device API tutorials. Now I wanted to try a new style of kind of these tutorials to do more smaller ones going over just very individual things. I think it will be good because um, maybe you just don't want to sit through, you know, maybe 20 minutes of other stuff that's irrelevant to what you want to do. So in this tutorial today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to actually create, oh no, sorry, how to set an icon to your application. So if you haven't watched the first kind of setup tutorial application, um, go watch that. Um, otherwise, maybe you've already created an application, you just don't know how to set the icon. Um, this tutorial is going to cover it now. So this is more of like a universal tutorial. It doesn't matter what application you've created. Um, this will work for all of them. So what you need to do is go to your app info.json file. So you should have already created this. It should be in your resources and then assets and go to the apps folder here over here. And as you can see, this is our app info file. And inside of here, um, this was kind of the base um, app info JSON I've provided. Um, but if you don't have this icon thing, just add it to it at the bottom here. And basically what this takes in is a resource location. So a resource location is basically your mod ID and then um, kind of the location of it. So not CDM, our, our mod ID here is actually, let's go to our... Uh, let's go to our source here. If we've got a reference, this here is our mod ID. So what we need to do is point to an image inside of our resources here. Now I can go anywhere that you guys want um, because I've kind of made it like that. So we might actually create a new directory, call it textures. And then, because this is kind of a standard um, folder that Minecraft even uses. And then inside of here, we're going to create a new directory and I call this app. And then inside of that one, oh, it's, all, it's, all, it's all kind of the same folder. Um, and then we call it icon. And inside of here, we're going to put our icon. So icons for applications are 16 by 16 PNG images. So keep that in mind. So it allows you to have, you know, transparent background. Um, I don't think J, uh, JPEG files will at, at work at all. Um, so don't even attempt to it. Attempt to do it. Um, PNG files, 14 by 14 images. So let's go ahead. Let's create one now. So we're going to bring up Photoshop real quickly. Open up your favorite, your favorite photo imaging manipulation software. Mine is Photoshop, of course. And we're going to go new. And then we're going to type in here 14 by 14. Create. So I don't think I'm going to do like anything super duper fancy. Uh, let's just delete the background here. So delete that. And we're just going to, I don't know, do like a circle or something like that. Um, so again, 14 by 14. So keep that in mind that you've got limited um, you kind of like workspace here. So is that going to work? All right. I think we did that a little. That was wrong. Sorry. We're going to create like a circle here. So two like that, then one, two. All right, there we go. I've got the rhythm going. I got the rhythm going. All right, so that looks pretty cool, I guess. The letter T. We zoom out like that. Tutorial application. So let's go ahead. Let's save this right now. So save, and then you need to locate your um, resources folder. So go to your mod folder. So device API, source main resources assets and then you should be able to find the folders we created so textures app icon and then save that in there now it has to be the id of your application so mine is tutorial um, and then we'll do save this as a png file so the id of your application it should be um, whatever you specified when you registered it so if we go here tutorial there so save that now, okay. And then now inside there we have it. Now in the app info JSON file, 
uh, we're going to go here, we're going to type in our mod ID. So ours is device dash tutorial and then colon and then we need to point to that file. So it's going to be um, textures app icon. Um, well actually, it doesn't have to be called that. It can be called anything you want. Sorry about that. It can be called anything that you want as long as you're pointing to the actual image and then dot PNG at the end there. So there we go. Um, if we go ahead and we actually just load up the game right now, we should have specified an icon for our application. If it doesn't come up, you've most likely provided an incorrect um, icon um, location. So make sure you do that correctly. Now it was a missing icon before, I'll tell you that right now, it was a missing icon. We load this up, as you can see now, our tutorial app here now has an actual icon, which is really, really cool. And uh, we've got this kind of simple image viewer application we developed in it, um, which is really, really cool. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how you develop your own, you know, add a custom icon to your application. Um, it's a really simple process. I've made it very kind of easy, but also very versatile as well because you can provide it. You know, you can kind of create your own kind of icon structure, whatever you want. Um, you can change it around really easily in here to different icons. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully, you guys learned how to create an icon for your application today. If you did, make sure you go ahead and snap that like button. Uh, I'm trying out this new kind of format for my tutorials where I do kind of very small tutorials on different pieces of the API. So let me know what you think about it and I'll see you guys later. Bye.